Hello everybody, I'm going to talk about my uh, Bobcat, my 742 Bobcat. Um, here is the uh, cylinders. The original ones that came with it uh, were shit. Um, they were smaller, so it wouldn't lift as much. These that I replaced uh, them with are uh, slightly bigger. The nice thing about them is you'll see the gland area where uh, the seal is easy to repair and that's the way they should all be built okay uh, just take off the end uh, from the other one and weld it on and you're uh, pretty much set to go um, I had to modify a little bit inside there on the bottom I had to uh, make some extra clearance for it but uh, these cylinders were only like hundred and twenty dollars and they're bigger bigger in diameter meaning they have more force and uh, as opposed to the Bobcat ones, they wanted something like $450 a piece. Ridiculous. And they were cheaply made. You couldn't re uh, even remove the cap off the end. I tried everything uh, to fix them. It's almost like they're made obsolete. Terrible, terrible engineering. Um, most... Uh, skid loaders usually have the cylinders horizontal or tilted downward if they're tilted upward this is upward a little bit only because the bucket is uh, pressing and keeping the front wheels off the ground water will tend to get in here and mess up your hydraulic uh, water or <laughs> fluid I'm sorry uh, you could see those cylinders are pointed downward that's the way they should be that's nice okay um, that keeps the uh, water out of it. Okay. Um, let's see what else they... This is a, a, a good little machine. I like it because it doesn't have all that uh, solenoid controlled valves, uh, which are not necessary. It's... Uh, it's more analog run. It had a basic uh, 1600 uh, cc uh, engine, or 1.2, I guess you call it, or whatever, uh, like a Pinto engine. Uh, and it's never given me any problems. Uh, The only bad engineering on this machine is putting a radiator on top. Yeah, it makes it com compact and whatnot, but had they installed it in the back here, it would have been easier to fix and replace. Um, the fact that it's on top, the, the unit almost has to be unique. It's a certain size and a certain fit, uh, making it more costly and harder to find when you need to replace it. Um, I, that's about it. I don't know of any other negatives about it. Um, that's it.